Hello everybody, ReaperX1 here again, playing back in my campaign playthrough of what is now version 1.2 in Teratex campaign, free-for-all, hopefully survive kind of mode. And as we get started, as always, I would like to welcome you and thank you for joining me, and let's see if we can get something good to work out here for us. I'm trying to fill in this bottom part, it's kind of a tight little quarters, so we got to work at it, find our view, pick and choose our blocks, and... Hopefully we'll get something good that'll be balanced. Holding a lot of power, because I'm thinking mostly bow or, uh, batteries and power uh, generation. So, solar gens of some sort. Most likely the GSO. I think they'll fit better. More of them. Overall efficient. But I do want some lift. We do need some control for this thing. And I'm hoping it'll be lightweight enough, being zero weight that is, that these will control it nice. Like, responsibly is what I'm hoping get enough of them in here it'll influence zero weight around I believe <laughs> well somewhat zero weight it'll depend but yeah tons of batteries I'm gonna have to remember to take a look and see how many of each block it is in this I don't know, I'll figure out what it takes to have one of these and the other bigger builds I don't know that might be interesting gonna have to remember that and of course you need a little bit of uh, up force so we'll use some propellers so zero point the oh they're just the venture zero propeller oh I thought they was venture uh, I must be thinking about something else huh but overall I think we got enough where we can test her out get her up in the air see what she'll do so yeah, it's response slow, so that's kind of good too. I don't want it to be all super fast and jerky and real uh, touchy. Ooh, not really caring for that lean. But, well, it spins good. Which, yeah, I don't know. Hopefully I won't need that so much, but that could come in handy at some point. I figured that those will mainly be real awesome for, like, strafing and then forward and back. So... Can't land on the tree. Yeah, the touchy thing is it's going to be landing if it wants to lean like that. It might not land. As long as we can get close, get the build beam, I think we'll be alright. We'll be able to anchor it back. And Yeah, I see it don't want to anchor. That's the nice thing. We got the hotkey for the anchor now. Well, I don't mind. Get away from that. I don't want to be over near them. No enemies, please. Ah, another one. Totals. So yeah, it's going to take a little bit to get used to flying this thing. You can see my little Hawkeye cab there, just so I know it weighs front. <laughs> I should put one on the back facing this, the right way, and it'll tell me what way then. I can see it better. But yeah, we'll get back to kind of get cleaning up here. Seems we have run the field out of money. It's kind of died out a little bit. So we're probably going to just move shop. Because we do, you know, like, we're almost at 60 million bucks, but we are working towards, like, we, I think it was uh, 150 to 200 million. That's my goal. Which I'm not going to end up with that much on the board at all at once because, well, I'm going to keep spending money to build that thing as I move around. But it would be kind of neat to have 200 million. I don't know. We'll see what we end up with in the end, but I have a goal on the set of techs that I want to have in the game. So that's what I'm working towards, and we'll see if it can happen. Found another nice little spot with our for our money. As you can see there's quite a bit of blue spots around us on the radar. Yeah, I should put a radar on this at some point. I don't really want to yet, just because I like to have them up in my controls area. You know, like where you could have a little dude running around. Because this could end up as part of uh, the new Tekka project, which you know, I know I keep saying it, it is coming. I'm just thinking about getting to work on it. I think I'm ready. Got stuff that I needed done. Should be alright. Well, at least most of the stuff. There is maybe a few things I wanted to add, but not finished. But those are in work still. Ideas and such. Like here, we got this main section here. This will be for moving. And it will get us... Uh, raise and lower 
and there's going to be a lot of conveyors used in this just because it is tall and the number of lines there is so it's going to be quite a bit <laughs> give her another little check here now that we got her all gyroed up all the passive gyros i really like them they're like one of my favorites now mainly because you can still do flips and turns and stuff like that and and it'll stop you like and it just stops Yep, yeah, took a lot of that wiggle out. Still maybe a little bit there where it wants to lean. But not too bad. That's something we can work with. This I don't want to be able to do flips. I just want it to be rigid, supportive, and structurally sound. And I figure that'll help with the overall project. I like to see the numbers in the background, but yeah, I don't really think they need to cover over my text. That's something maybe that should be added a little different. Kind of interfere. But look, she anchors better this time. I actually got a tanker. <laughs> but things do run out. We'll get on to the next bit. It's hard to keep money coming in. But we did make it up to just over 64 million. So we're on our way. Bloop. Gone. I kind of like the way that works, but I also like the way that the skew used to, because it was kind of like a, a little bit expanded and kind of come in. I don't know. I like that. Yeah, we'll get these all cleaned up. We'll, well, I guess we can clean up some enemies too over here. See what we can collect. Ooh. Yeah, he was worth more points than I thought he'd be. 560 some. Not too shabby. Oh, look at this guy. I'm surprised he didn't start going right after that bait, uh, little mining out, uh, outpost. Oh, whoa, 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 easy. Yeah, they always want to throw me around. Oh, scorpion. Watch this. Ooh. I was going to say, watch the stinger, but. I watched it go that way. <laughs> Lots of good bits from that one, though. I do like the Hawkeye blocks. Oh, there's a health right on the front. Ooh. Oh, they're flashing green. And not really the right way. So I know they'd be healing, but yeah, they were flickering, not the nice pulsing flash, I guess. Look at this little feller. Just rush ray. Whoa, crap. Yeah, I gotta be careful with that. Seems to like to flip me. It's almost like a new trick I can do. If I time it right and do this, I can do back flips and barrel rolls. <laughs> and even front flip. Oh, nice. Took them apart right down the one side. I'm liking it. <coughs> no, I'll get them before they shoot up my money. I know they like doing that. Oh, look at this guy. He's just starting to fade. Oh, wow, he ain't shooting really. Okay, get him. Don't don't uh, lose the advantage. He hesitated. It's the biggest fail you can do in war. In battle. Oh, look at them all. Little dudes. Poor fellas. I'll just sit here. It's all good, guys. Just enjoy me. I'm just, you know, chilling. But yeah, at least they didn't get shot. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Uh-oh, don't flint me. Yeah, get him. Oh, I'm trying not to blow all these blocks up, but he ain't making it easy. Oh, I'll screw it. I guess most of the blocks survived anyway. <laughs> what the hell is it doing to me? It's got me rotating. Oh, look at these ones. I bet you. Oh, he turned the other way right on. Might get over there. Well, before he turns, oh, right on. He got turned around, but not much done after that. I'm liking those big guys that are the ones that worry me. Because you never know. They might get that one lucky shot off. It takes your whole mine and out, post out. Or worse, it blows up all the resources that are sitting there. 
And they keep attacking you before you have time to get them all cleaned up. I'm just trying to clean my stuff off, man. I'm just gonna sit there and take pot shots as soon as I lay down my skew. What a guy, eh? What a guy. Yeah, I'll spread him out over the fields. Oh, where's he gone? Ah. Oh. I'm gonna go sucker punch that guy. <laughs> Sneak attack. Oh, he got his kill, this guy. Tank sporter. Oh, oh, oh. I'm getting caught. Come on, get over. There we are. Whew. Look at this guy hiding behind the trees. It's like, peekaboo. Oh, poke him right in the eye. <laughs> Only still those mega Oh, there we go. Yeah, my little harvester, it ain't really built for all out battle like some of these other techs are, so I gotta keep them at the front. Make sure that I. Well, that's where the majority of my attacking is coming from, so. Whoop, look what I can do. <laughs> Thought I'd add that in. But yeah, there's a lot of money being made over there now. Sitting up about 70. Just almost. Yeah, just over 72 million. Right on. So we're getting close. But we ain't done spending the money. We'll get back to building and we'll watch the dollars fly away. But we got a lot of these guys kind of coming into our turf here. We just got to set a precedent. You come around here thinking you're going to catch problems. We're going to throw down there, little boys. We'll take you out. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Show them what's what. Yeah, we'll see when we get to that skew and dump the hole. Oh, look at all the money pop up. Bam! Yeah, this little spot here, it's quite loaded. It's been making me money like... Oh, oh, that's stuck. <laughs> oh, look at this guy. He just waiting for it. Oh, yeah, right up my mind. Hmm. Punk. Come here. You take that. I tell you what. Yeah. Oh, don't, 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 don't roll me. Ooh, did I save it? Still up in the air. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> There we go. Calmed her down. Had something stuck in his paw. Ah, they're all dead now. Get rid of them and I'll be able to get rid of my mines. Pack them away so they don't get destroyed. And have to buy more. I got a fair uh, collection of, what was it, 311? Ah, no, 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 no. Quit it. Yeah. Jesus. Yeah, let's get back to some building. We got her all kind of cleaned up. We've kind of moved on, and we're now sitting at 78 million. So we're doing pretty good. We're going to get the rest of these gyros kind of fitted in here. And get ready to add on our, uh, well, the final layers. Because what I'm picturing, it's going to kind of almost look like a pill. Huh. It's a big one, though. Be hard to swallow. Easy to beat though, because there ain't no weapons on this part. Well, none yet. Might have to rethink my idea on that. Yeah, we get these sidelines going here. These are for our actual resource transfer. So we'll get them coming up. And then we'll be able to feed the top part. And hopefully a platform that'll have quite extensive uh, resource handling abilities. A little bit of uh, a necessity for what we want to, what I'm trying to do. So we'll see that. Ooh, look at me go. Yeah. Done. Now, if I could only do that that fast, for real. Yeah. So you kind of, well, maybe a battery. I like the sound of a battery better than a pill. It is pretty much. <laughs> Probably a couple hundred batteries in there. Yeah, that's flying pretty good still. Not too, too awkward. It is a little kind of different. But yeah, it's not too shabby. I keep wanting to shoot at that at the enemies, but it's like, yeah, it doesn't do nothing. <laughs> but now the question is, how controllable? Because the point is, I got to be able to have the fine touch when I want to land it, bring her down, put her in place. 
Because just in case this tech does have to be split up and brought in piece by piece, I want to be able to get those pieces to there. So that's the trick. It's like a little bit of a, a solo vehicle, each part that can come into perfectly position <laughs> and then attach. So, I don't know. That might be tricky. I'll leave room for error. Pilot error. <laughs> because, well, I can fly, but I am not an ace. We'll say it that way, I guess. Yeah, we can top this off here, though. Landed nicely, I think. Get this all put on. Start our conveyor line. So now we can spread out the top. We can get it all figured in for what we want to do. And get everything situated. So this is where it gets tricky. Complicated. Conveyor lines crossing. Things trying to tuck around into tight spots and hide under others. And then you hit the wrong button. Sometimes. It's happened to me a few. Well, <laughs> a bunch of times. But yeah, it should be. Should be the part where, you know, I kind of enjoy the most. Because it's like, yeah, there, there, there. It's all tucked away nice and neat, but it works in the end. I don't know, I enjoy that for some reason. It's just a matter of if I can do it. <laughs> yeah, I'll relocate some of these. We're not really needing that much there. figure this will keep everything separated enough where it will be hopefully easier to work on. But then, still close enough to be convenient to use everything. Because there may be a lot of filter options. Got to keep everything balanced, so... Figure even dispersal, or... Well, maybe not even that so much I'll worry about. As long as everything can be filled. That's, of course, the first priority, but then... As long as it can be done easily... Where I load one spot and it does the rest. Eventually everything will fill. That's an alright starting point. And then from there if I want to. If I think it's really a good idea to go for. Like I want to select. Have an easy selection. That's that's a different process. Different build. Well the top would be different. Not saying it won't happen. <laughs> but try the first thing first. I find that's the easiest way for me to work through things. Yeah, this spot ain't going to be too easy to get at, I don't think, after. So I'm going to try and decorate it up as much as I can while I go and be done with it, hopefully. Unless there's like a major redesign somewhere, but let's not hope for that. <laughs> yeah, we'll get this one all around to do. So I figure as long as I get the one side figured out the basics, then from there I can work on. But since I'm running just conveyor lines, we get that started. Come up with this pattern. Seems to be the idea. The overall thing will work out. Because, yeah, this ain't quite it yet. It's always something, you know that. Come on. It can't be that easy on a big build. Got to make it complicated. Keep it interesting. For me and hopefully for you guys and gals. Yeah, forgot that's a raw resource. We'll try and get that in there, right? Pop. Yeah, so that's... Oh. <laughs> well, that's different. Yeah, right back to it. Huh. I wonder what's up with that. <laughs> what else we got here? Put one there. Uh, same thing over there, eh? So yeah, I guess we'll have to shut off all the refineries, or all the filters, and just run it in the end. Get a restart, maybe even that will help, eh? <laughs> we got her reloaded. Put her back, try her out. I did eventually get that running through, ran around the track nicely. It would actually visit all four sides if, if they were full. Like, it'll go to the end and then fill backwards. So, it kind of limits it a little bit so far. I haven't thought about getting more complicated yet, but I wanted to get to a flying test, make sure it's still controllable. Not real crazy. 
there's still lots of room for adding in more stability and fly or uh, propulsions and all that kind of stuff. So we're going to just have to see where the build takes us. But I think right around in here, we're going to get just about ready to call this one at an end. So as always, if you enjoyed what you saw, throw that like down there. Put some comments with it, you know, any feedback, suggestions, ideas are always appreciated. That is the awesome you all bring to a channel. And from there, if you want to help out this little channel, share with a friend, subscribe. Keeping up the dates easy by dinging the bell. And from there, I think we can uh, safely assume a good one should hopefully be had. But yeah, I'll try out some colors here. So I'm not sure if I want to paint it, but I'm going to do something. But until that next time, just keep being that awesome, keep having a good one, bye.